In 1699, while canoeing upriver, Bienville came upon an English warship. Move aside for Her Majesty the Queen's Royal British Navy. We must stake claim to this land for England. I would not continue down this river if I were you. You hear the captain. Move, you French scoundrel. You will meet five hundred thousand French soldiers armed to the teeth, which are themselves very sharp. They will ambush you, and you will be walking directly into certain death. We are but a single vessel. We would not survive an attack. How can we trust him? He's just some rando in a canoe. Can we afford to not trust him? Englishmen, please, turn around. You're walking into an ambush, and you cannot say no one warned you. Would you help us uh, turn around? English, turn. English, turn. English, turn. Turn. Good English. Au revoir. And that's how French trickery denied the British control of the river. Bienville served as our second territorial governor. Shortly after his governorship ended, his successor ordered Louisiana's first land grant to the entrepreneur Saint-Denis. Saint-Denis made his way along the Red River and founded Natchitoches in 1714, making it the first settlement in the territory of Louisiana. And in 1718, Choctaw Indians helped guide Bienville to a place that would change the course of history. On the banks of the river, wrote Bienville, is a place very favorable for the establishment of a post with one of the finest crescents in the river. Thus, the Crescent City was born. How did New Orleans get its name? Well, it was named for Philippe Duc d'Orléans, who unexpectedly came to power when King Louis XIV died. 